Captain. Hey, Captain. Hop in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. That's not the point. This halfway just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. The guy insulted my Rizzo's Rangers, all right? You can't just insult my rangers and expect to get away with it. So, of course, I decked him with a tossball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair-weather fan? Only the finest group of tossball players ever to take the field. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Exactly. I was only doing what any self-respecting Rangers fan would have done. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey. Not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? So your ship's got a dark and violent history? This is just too perfect. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss. Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Preferably not already filled out this time.
Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself, right before he died. from the last is down on 20 the contact somebody customs and inspection right this way identification please that's only about the third or fourth dumbest line i've heard all day i give it a six out of ten hey that's better than half could be worse could be better too so Identification? Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, 
It doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Be seeing you. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. Rizzo's purpleberry fudge. A soft flower candy shell around a sweet purpleberry fudge. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are yours property. Disperse now. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells, he tells me he will soon. I impound his ship, he explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Right, right, you're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? What? All right, I suppose. Uh, how might I assuage your fears? Whom else would I work for? Those sublight thugs? That Tennyson woman? The sweaty masses in the groundside townships? The board is the only force for order in this rough and tumble colony of ours. Without them, we'd all starve to death or meet our end in a canid's jaws. 
Yes, do tell. Indeed. And you know where he is? Excelsior! An apprehension of this caliber will be tremendous for my career. I'll send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, only... Oh, no. Oh, no. The thing is, I needed money. A lot of money. Quickly, for reasons. That's really neither here nor there, don't you think? I've... I've been working on something on the side, all right? Something not entirely, uh, on the level. I produce bootleg cereals. I just... I can't help myself. Juris and Prudence after hours. Or all my colonists, the new immortals. Romance, tragedy, debt collection. And they're all mine. That was you? Oh, my stars. All my colonists is just... Well, it gave me a story hangover for days, Mr. Udom. You're a fan? I've never met one in the flesh. I suddenly feel quite naked. Oh, it's all right, Mr. Udom. I don't judge. The heart wants what it wants, as they say. And mine yearns for the adoration of the masses. Held at a comfortable distance, of course. I wish I could say others felt the same. I've made nothing on them. Not a bit. My losses are staggering. I might have... pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. You probably don't even know where Wells is. None of my contacts ever pan out. Law, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is... T Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven. Just like store-bought. Depends. What are you planning to do with it? See the lights. Taking a show or two at the infamous Bijou. Could be a treat if you like that kind of thing. All right, I'll sell it to you. But it's gonna cost you dear. Anything else, dear? I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy.
If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. You've certainly been blessed with an abundance of sass, haven't you? But it's your interstellar currency I'm interested in, not your nethers. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Didn't quite catch that. Uh, you'll have to speak up. Glass ear. Sorry, there, there's a lot of static on my end. Nothing to fear. I, sorry again. The sound... Huh? What? Huh. Of course. Most of... I... Anywhere, you hear? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let... Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. 
That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out... I tell you, it's a good thing I'm not bleeding out. I've gotten faster service at the post office. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital... Ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and... Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can... Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. What? No. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the lost... If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it lined up Udam. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the dime. Anywho, I barely made it out with my luck. Keep hanging around and I'll... What can I... You have... Any word of... Look, I wasn't crazy about Jessie either, but did you really have to go and kill her? 
This is just great. Now I'll never clear my debt. Thanks a lot, psychopath. Don't you have people to murder? Very punch. You want a punch? Have either of the assault cruisers ever put into groundbreaking? Hey, you got a second? Fancy running into you again. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's... Yes, uh, just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. Pick up any more strays while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed! For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Why are obtuse angles so depressed? Because they are never right. As you wish, Captain. Mm hmm We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain.
guards, huh? I like this place already. Is that gunfire? I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Oh, before I forget, Anticleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Yes, yes, of course. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research... You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation... Toothpaste? One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Very well. We'd formulated the world's most effective appetite suppressant toothpaste. Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. 
That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Of course they do. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? I'll... This crane guy cares more about his research than his own people. I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. My death, you simpleton. Oh, you are. Oh, well, good luck. No, they got the carpet. What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal def- Certainly not, but Porter and his goons are busy with the outlaws and Anton's busy holding his head in his hands. Seems as good a time as any to get a bit of work done. No, uh, well, I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I- I found an advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I'm... Imagines of pure, simple white energy. And by reconstructing that energy, one bit at a time through the oscillator, a beam of such force was created that it could pierce any raptodon skin. It should quite easily burn through raptodon hides. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Ah, ha! Topical humor, very good. I'm going to get back to this, if you don't mind. Good luck. experiencing a security event, sir and or madam, please vacate the premises immediately and return to your domicile or designated workplace. You are? But corporate never told me they were sending a fixer. Nobody tells me nothing. I have strict orders not to talk about anything that happens in a classified area. Please remember that anti-Cleo... Roseway Lab is a highly classified facility. I am not allowed... I am not allowed to disclose the details. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cor Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Sure, loyal company fella. That's me. Look, I don't want to go back out. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on. I 
I've been extracting organic compounds from rats. Extracting how? In certain social situations. Pers sure. Of course. The newer lab is built for, um, more sensitive work. We mostly use the old lab for storage these days. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. No, I mean... In fact, don't mention this to Dr. Crane. At all. Great! Uh, this is really gonna save my ass. How do you suppose that stuff's used? Do you drink it, or is it like perfume? I I'm not interested, just curious. Was that supposed to be the living quarters? Seemed about as livable as a coffin. <laughs> 